YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is another sneaker head rotation, another sneaker rotation in general. Y'all know what I mean. My weekly seven. Thanks everybody that's been subscribing. Subscribing to all that stuff, man. Um, so let me jump off into it. Sunday. S Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Um, end up going out. And I end up breaking out these again. Um this one, you know, I wore this one a little bit more often. You know, I like to break mine in a little bit, you know. Wear it a few times out the out the week or whatever, or a few times before I like put it back on ice or whatever. Got that nice translucent blue sole and all that. Um classic, crazy, and fire. Gotta love it. And uh hey man, I don't even know how much these going for the for the resale. I think two fifty low end, but hey man. I picked up on these and didn't even know about the whole resale thing. So I picked up these because I actually liked them. So yeah, buy what you like. Monday, I end up wearing these joints right here. I wore my Barclays. It's another shoe that I picked up. That's kind of recent that I end up wearing. Um the comf the comfort, man. I mean, it's is you know, it's not as good as the Jordan 12 comfort, but for this to actually have a strap is actually pretty decent as far as comfort. I don't know if maybe because it's the Air Max 180 bubble at the bottom or something. Crazy, crazy. If you still haven't seen my review on this kick, go and look at it now. Um, I don't know if I might be doing, uh, if I don't know, you will see if I put it out though. It's kind of like hit and miss. It depends on how the weather is and stuff. I want to do it on foot for this one and my Olympic one, but you know, it is what it is. Tuesday, I end up wearing my Micromatic uh, Silver Surfer joint right here. And as one of my, uh, what's the name, people, uh, one of my subs uh, ended up correcting me. It said, he said Quicksilver, so yeah. Um, anyway, I, I like this shoe. Um, you know, I know everybody, this shoe isn't for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, looking at it, if I was the average person and I wasn't a sneakerhead or whatever, like, you know, really into kicks or whatever, this, I could see how this shoe can be boring. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I, if I, like, if I was just, and you know what I mean by regular person. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't really too much care about dressing up, if I didn't too much really care about kicks all like that, uh, I probably wouldn't get this shoe. It looks boring. You know what I'm saying? Um, when you cop shoes, you know, it's really up to you as far as like how you bring that shoe out. Now, something as plain as this can be freaked real good with a nice outfit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I had more time, you know what I mean? Uh, I would be able to do like an outfit video and, and let y'all see how it looks actually with this like paired up with an outfit or whatever. Because, you know, this is nothing. This is only just something that actually complements the outfit. This is not one of them shoes that like... You know, the outfit is built around the shoes. This is one of them, you put the outfit, you put your outfit on for the day or something like that, and then you just put these on. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, I found the shoes first, now I'm gonna build around the outfit. You know, this is not that kind of shoe. Um, but one of the things I do like about it, the, the fact that this is actually gray at the bottom. Um, when I do wear these, I actually just keep it pretty simple. I just wear like an all black or something like that. Black, you know, black shirt, black pants, that's a simple. Anybody can do that, and then you just match it, throw it off with this, with the little chromatic gray at the bottom, smoke gray. Now, these is one of those good shoes that's actually uh, decent for, you know, when it's like breezy outside, get a little bit chilly, get a little bit cold. Um, now, the other pair I actually got is more made of a weave. As soon as the wind blow, I can actually feel it through my shoe. Um, it's for my other pair, my infrared pair that looks orange. That's I already reviewed those as well, so you go look at those in my channel as well. But these are fire to me still. I mean, it depends on what you do with it, you know. Hey, it is what it is. And also, too, lastly, I like that even though the, the bottom is all dirty now, but it's it's actually a translucent gray at the bottom. Um, this one was just sitting for obvious reasons. Again, like I said, regular people that buy shoes or whatever, they don't care. A hype beast wouldn't like no shit like this, you know what I mean? I see so much potential with this shoe where you could just freak it and kind of like do an Oakland Raiders kind of like fit. You know what I mean? And you just want to throw a runner on. So 
enough of me rambling. I want to finish this sneaker rotation. My bad, y'all. But thanks for hanging in there. Y'all know how I do. I hardly see y'all, man. You know, I, I be trying to actually... I'm real. I actually give y'all a show. You know what I mean? These other people be on here for like two minutes. Be like, that's my sneaker rotation. And it sounds like some made-up shit that they just did. Like, they just made it up. <clears throat> what day is this? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. This is Wednesday. Wednesday, I end up wearing the 13 Dirty Bread. Crazy. Crazy. Um, a guy in my... Um, it's a guy that I know that's actually looking for these joints. Uh, and again, this is one of the ones that people passed up on. Now... If this was remaster quality, this would definitely, definitely be a go-to. I mean, a, a super steel because the leather would be like way more plush because this would be done right completely. But this is before they brought in the remaster series or whatever. And uh, this is the last of Jordan, um, like kind of like little like hard, hard leather or whatever. <clears throat> but this right here, like on this part is actually pretty soft. Uh, but... I can't wait to see the Cherry 13s next year as well. And uh, since I don't have a Bread 13 or the Playoff 13, this was like the perfect solution for me. It's like if they had a baby, it would look like this. And uh, this is classic, man. Um, as far as me trading them off and selling them, uh, I doubt it. I doubt it. I, I done got used to these, man. This looks so right with like an all-black outfit, you know, or, you know, a little bit of henna red or something like that. But... It really, this, the Mia Soul really comes out when you wear an all-black outfit with this. And, um, you know, this fall I've been wearing a little bit more so on the all-black side. But I've still been incorporating a few of my colors. But when you freak these with an all-black outfit, crazy, crazy. This is not even that cherry red. This is like a varsity red, just so that y'all know. Um, when I first seen this shoe, I, I didn't really too much think about copping it or whatever because... I was like, man, this look like a, a shoe from like a Chinese website that sell fakes or whatever. But this shoe actually grew on me and I just got it, man. And I'm happy I did get it because, again, I didn't have a playoff 13s nor the bread 13s. If I had both of those, I probably wouldn't have got this, but I'm happy I got this. Um, and uh, I think this might be my only 13 as of now, but I would definitely want to get some more 13s because I had some 13s when I was a kid. So, yep. It's still, I still got my plastic on the uh, Panther Eye right here. Them all black ones that's coming out, I think those might be PEs. Well, I guess all of Jordan shoes PEs, but he actually wore a pair of all black ones, and they're actually coming out. And uh, yeah, and they had like red at the bottom. They call them the altitude uh, joints because the except the altitudes actually got lime green instead of red. But yeah, dress it up in the all black black on black but i don't know though i might not go for that i don't know but it looked clean though but i don't want to keep talking so thursday i end up wearing my puma just something simple I'm quite sure y'all remember this this was a shoe i got like a month or two ago probably two months ago crazy crazy just wanted to bring them back out because i want that that nice walking comfort again um and this is still a, a slept on shoe um i seen a few of them moving on eBay, but they might be close to being sold out. And I actually got to clean this joint, but it is what it is. Clean the kicks before I put them back in the box. If y'all don't even have a regular Puma Blaze of Glory, y'all are sleeping. So, like that whole new lace tile. Go look at the review for that. <clears throat> Friday, I end up wearing the Jordan 6. This one right here, this is another one. White, I'm going to wipe down pretty good and uh, just retire it until sometime next year or whatever. I might bring these back out in the spring. Um, I mean, because really, that's that's where this color is really fit, more fitting of. You could kind of wear these like year-round, you know, match a few fall outfits with this. But uh, the bulk of this shoe would probably get more shine, like, for me as far as, like, in the spring. Like, where more white and blue is, like, more prevalent. Um, and also to the summer, the summertime, a little bit of the fall, like I wore these now a little bit in the fall. Also, too, because they're new and they're actually broken and have a lot of character. So, yeah, that's what I wore on Friday. Saturday, I end up wearing a shoe I haven't worn in a few months, and that is the Air Max 90. And again, now like this right here, this is not even red, but this is just like a infraredish pinkish color. But on camera, I know it probably looks red. So if you actually seen this shoe in real life, at least the laces, uh, 
you know, everything falls in place. Um, the other stuff just like look too plain to me, man. Like, like just having like a either a white lace through it or a black lace, it just look a little too plain. If I had to pick, I would probably just put like a black lace through it or something. I don't know. Um, but this is a premium Air Max 90 with a canvas toe box and a suede uh, around the midsole right here. If it's not a suede, it's definitely a, a nice dusty plush feeling uh, new buck. And uh, I still got to pick up on some more Air Max 90s, but I've been picking up on other stuff. So rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. This is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella. Nail, man, stay in there, hang in there, man. Uh, you know, I got more content on the way. Y'all know me. No hype be shit, just all real shit. Peace.